What's up guys, DJ Rick Webb back at it again. Let's jump into another edition of DJ Talk. Like the title says, the ADJ event table is absolutely stupid. Everyone is now using it. Everyone, absolutely everyone is using the ADJ event table. It's so stupid, why would you use that? You wanna be unique. This is why I'm switching to the ADJ event facade which you see behind me. That way, I'm unique and I look different than all the other DJs out there. Who the f are you to tell me what the hell a unique setup is? Who the f is this DJ Rick Webb? That's the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Was he like the fashion police of DJs or something? Get out of here. And subscribe. Yikes, guys. So, um... That's what happens when you film a video off the cuff with no prep and a little bit of frustration. I said blow up the comments on that last video and you guys absolutely did. Holy crap. I had to I, I had to go back and watch my video over again because I was I was uh yeah, you guys surprised me. And it was very well deserved. Uh let me let me just start off by uh truly saying I, I apologize real quick. I am truly sorry to anyone that uses a facade out there and watched that previous video. Cause I was super offensive toward I didn't I, I mean this is all from filming off the cuff and that, but like that came off super offensive and super negative towards anyone that uses a facade out there and basically I was basically telling you it's a cardinal sin to use a facade. Never ever use a fa facade. It's the worst decision you could ever make. And that was not the point of that video. So let me try this again. And this time I prepped. I got some notes. So first off, I'm going to communicate the message that I tried to communicate last time but did a complete poor job of doing. Some of you guys kind of got the message but I did a very poor job of explaining the message. And then after that I'm going to kind of like hit on and answer some of the bigger points that some people are leaving in the comment section down below that I kind of just want to address. So here we go. Let's try this again. Yes, everyone, please get this across as the first priority in your DJ business. And that is focusing on your performance, your MC skills, your crowd reading, and the overall experience that you bring for your clients at your events. This is by far the number one thing in terms of building a DJ business, providing a amazing quality service. Also, very important to get across, equipment means absolutely nothing. A client could care less what brand of speakers you got, what brand of lights you got, as long as you have a nice clean setup that meets the form and function of that client's event, you are good to go. Just those two steps right there, mainly the performance aspects of providing an amazing service for your clients, will get you good, if not great, reviews and referrals for future events. And over multiple events, if you keep providing that amazing, awesome experience for your clients and you get those awesome referrals and reviews, that alone, that alone, without anything else, will allow you to be very successful in your DJ business. That is why it is the main and number one thing you need to focus on in building a DJ business of your own. Now, in my last video, I kind of skipped over these first steps and jumped straight to the brand and image factor that's gonna only further your reputation. So again, this image and branding that I'm gonna be talking about is more of an icing on the cake factor. It is definitely not what is gonna guarantee you success. Guaranteeing you success is doing that amazing, awesome, experience and providing a quality experience and customer service and all that good stuff that is the number one priority of your business. This that I'm going to be talking about here is more of an icing on the cake factor to further your business and your reputation. And the main point we're going to be talking about is furthering your reputation and taking your brand and image and truly making it stand out in the market. And I'm specifically talking about your area. We're not talking about across the United States. We're not talking really as a whole entire state we're talking more on a localized level so for me it would be greensboro high point winston-salem that's kind of my area and to do this you're going to want to have a unique setup i'm not talking about gear i'm talking about the look and image of your setup you're going to want to have a unique setup that stands out compared to the majority or your competition in general it stands out from the crowd so shop around a little bit 
Look around at your competitors, see what their setups look like. If the majority of your competitors are rocking just like a table, like they set up a console on top of just whatever table is provided, then you of a facade in that marketplace is gonna stand out and be unique compared to everyone else. Again, this is not a point on you are gonna be an amazing successful DJ in a business if you look different. That is not the point. If you are in the DJ business and say you're following stagnant or you are just struggling to like grow any further, like you hit that, that peak point, maybe look at the market and see if you're just hidden in the crowd and you can't shine through necessarily. Another point is if you're someone like me trying to grow a business in a brand new city in a brand new state. As I do events here and gain reviews and referrals, and build my reputation here. If I do that while also combining my look to be unique in the marketplace, I'm only going to further the success of my brand as a business. And that's because I'm setting the standard expectation and experience for that look and that brand. Versus if I started with a facade setup like behind me, which is what a lot of DJs in my area are using, I'm competing with the expectations that these other businesses have set forth and that kind of leads into more of a price war and less of a experience war, if that makes sense. Because I'm trying to sell my experience over their experience when we both look the same, but he charges less and I charge more. It's really hard to negotiate and actually do sales. It's a lot easier. I'm not, again, this is the, not gonna be the grand told thing that's gonna make you successful. It's just gonna be something that helps you become more successful. The icing on the cake. Focus on your skills and build a killer reputation as a DJ in your market. And be aware of your competition and your image that you have in the market. So now I wanna address some of the bigger points that were made in the comments just because I, I feel they need to be addressed. Number one, my last video was a direct shot at DJ Bar. No, that was not my intentions at all. Yes, the thumbnail I used was his setup, but that was used for clickbait because obviously a lot of people click on it if it's DJ Bar's setup but this was more or less to address all the DMs I get from younger DJs that are looking to buy a facade and they're looking to buy it just because they see other DJs using it and they think it's a standard and they think everyone should look the same because that's what a DJ should look like obviously I have a different opinion based on what I just said earlier second point the ADJ event table will eventually be just like the facade and everyone else will be using it absolutely probably correct more or less right now no one else in my market is using it so I'm hopeful that by the time a couple or two or three people start using the ADJ event table in my market, I have already created my own unique booth or some competitor will create a new booth that I can evolve to say like the toad booth or something else. So that way I continue to stand out in my market. All facades are not the same. Yes, this is 100% absolutely correct. You can absolutely create a unique facade. There's things like the dragon front boards that look really sick and they look really cool and they can look really elegant. You can add ape sticks, you can go really big and do like a five or six panel facade like bar. You could even build your own custom one and do creative interesting shapes. You can project video onto the facade then making it like a video booth and less of a facade. Again I was more just pointing out towards the people that were being very basic with their facades and this is more or less in my market. Again I'm saying be different than your competitors in your specific market. In my market there's a lot of people using a four panel generic facade. So if you're also using one in my market you're gonna not stand out as well but on that note let me bring it back to the beginning here and bring it back to the main thing that I skipped in the original video your performance your skills your MC abilities and overall just delivering an amazing awesome performance for your clients is number one and equipment cannot change that observing your market and creating an image that is different than the rest will be that icing on the cake factor that'll take your reputation and your brand and your business to the next level. Hope that cleared the air. I've said this before guys, this channel was created for me to provide a little bit of education and to share my experience and I definitely missed the ball on that last upload. Thank you guys for keeping me in check. Again, this is a two-way street here. Leave your comments down below. Let's get better together. Let's kill it behind the decks. And like always guys, keep them records spinning. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.